Um, the biggest issues facing the industry, uh, I think, is are all the disparate voices. And one of the one of the wonderful things to get out of a, a conference like the Prism, I think, uh, uniformly everyone agrees that we need to act as a whole industry. We need all to make some compromises, I think. And um, and again, I think that's an opportunity, an opportunity, you know, the only way you can make government listen, and let's face it, government exhibitors and, uh, and networks really need to be in the game here. Now, if you've got various voices talking to those people, then, then, then it is, it's very confusing. I think it, uh, it, it's not confusing, though, uh, for a smart government to listen to a whole of industry approach uh, and I think it's the way to go and one of the brilliant things about, about this, um, this particular uh, conference. I value every relationship that I have, professional or non-professional, but certainly um, as, a, a, as the executive of a screen agency, relationships with broadcasters are critical, relationships with producers and understanding the issues that they face is essential, uh, relationships with international financing partners, uh, highlighting the benefits of how and where Australia excels and how we are great partners to do business with. Relationships on all of those uh, fronts are just critical to what I do. I think everything comes from the ideas. None of us are, none of us are here and there's nothing for us to do without the ideas. So it's, it's the creatives and the writers who come up with the, the ideas at the beginning because the whole, the whole proposition kicks off with someone who has a great idea. So it's idea, people who create ideas and that talent that are the lifeblood of our industry. So there are many, many, many people without whom what we do wouldn't be possible. But it's the amazing people who have all these amazing ideas that kind of start everything and kick everything off. The professional relations I value the most uh, are, are with the creative people who have a really strong passion for telling a story. I think Australian crews are at a at a world level. Uh, you just need to sort of look at, you know, some of the key contributors. You know, not only in front of the camera. I think it's it's well known now. You know, Australians' contribution. You know, from a talent perspective, but certainly I think crews are there um, across the world, both in television and film. Uh, be they showrunners on some of the big shows uh, in the U.S. like John Paulson and uh, Elementary, through to you know some of the big you know big name DOPs, um, you know production designers. Uh, um, you know, coming from Australia and um, working on, on big shows both in film and television. Well, we're currently in discussions with SPA to um, uh, really to see how the existing industry television model fits or needs adjusting uh, to deal with online productions, produ uh, productions that are commissioned by um, digital streaming services uh, and um, uh, uh, th that's a part of our industry negotiations at the moment. Uh, it's a global industry and it's very much a local industry. I think the strength uh, of the Australian industry uh, stands on our capacity to tell distinctive, authentic local stories that resonate. Um, uh, one of the interesting things that was being discussed today was, um, was how, uh, how crucial it is for um, programs that are being produced here to resonate with a domestic audience because um, that's essentially, because uh, you know, there's a, uh, obviously people want to make money from overseas markets, but um, the uh, strength uh, and success of a, of a program will often rest on um, how it resonates with the domestic audience. And for that, it's about telling a distinctively Australian, local, authentic story. The industry is changing, um, no doubt, uh, but the essential crafts of filmmaking are evolving and um, the crafts that we need to produce excellent media into the future need to evolve with them. So I think the uh, base crafts that we need to establish uh, and maintain need to be established and maintained, but you know, it's an, educa an educative process and things need to evolve, but the demands on the skills of everybody that's sitting here, uh, whilst they were what they were 15 or 20 years ago, have changed and evolved and in involved different technologies, um, but the outcome is excellence 
you know, in every domain. I think we can't deny we're part of a global industry. Um, our members work all around the world and Australian talent and uh, crew work all around the world as well. And we're in a competitive international market. So we have to keep our skills up. We have to reinvent ourselves um, constantly um, and innovate. And our, um, our talent and our crew and our facilities are very good at that. And so, um, as I said, we can't deny we're part of it and we just have to keep internationally competitive. Of course, I'm very positive about the Australian industry changing for the better. I think it's important to have a positive narrative about what our industry does, how we contribute to the whole economy, how we contribute to our, our cultural um, nature, um, our cultural makeup. So I think it's very positive for the industry uh, going forward. It's a very challenging time right now because the, the rate of change is, is so massive. And, you know, as producers, we are all kind of struggling to keep up with what the new models might be, struggling to kind of come up with our own models, keep ahead of the curve to make sure that we're the ones that are still in business at the end of the day. And as small players in the industry, that's that's especially tough. So I think it's it's very tough right now, but there are new opportunities. There's going to be new players, which is really exciting. Um, so new doorways to, to access funding and, and to, to take content and try and find a home for your projects. And that can only be for the best, I think.